Hey, what's up guys? I'm Phil, this is 3D Japan, and this is the Xtool D1 laser engraver. Let's check it out. So this is the Xtool D1. I'm really excited to get into this one. It's got some unique features that I haven't been able to use before. Uh, let's open up the box and use my knife that I made in an earlier video. See if, we can, if my knife will work. There we go. Okay, so let's see what's inside. So, from what I can see already, it looks very nicely packaged. Everything seems to have its own little place. But I don't think there's enough room on my table to unbox it here. So I'm going to take it away and take everything out and then I'll lay it out here. Okay, so here's everything laid out that came in the box. Uh, first of uh, impression is that everything looks really nice. These are all very nicely machined parts. Everything is very sturdy feeling. Uh, let's open this uh, envelope here and see what's inside. Maybe it'll tell me what everything is. Okay. We've got, uh, looks like some fun stickers. And then we got, uh, looks like the manual in many different languages. <laughs> Hopefully English is first. It mentions uh, these plate components, uh, optical shaft, which uh, is in here. There we go. Set that aside. Put that away. Uh, let's see, we have the laser module that is here. Uh, power adapter and cable that's here and here. Uh, coupling. Uh, I saw that there is a coupling in this little bag of uh, various parts and sample materials. Uh, motor cable, I believe that is this. Oh no, this is the motor and laser cable. Um, motor cable, where are you? Might be that. But uh, yeah, uh, let's see, user manual, I'm holding. USB cable, oh no, that's this, okay. But we'll figure everything out. Uh, Safety goggles. Uh, let's take a look at these. These uh, these look a little nicer than the ones I've had before. Uh, I'm guessing that's some lubricant for various parts. Just says Peng Sheng. Let's see this goggle. Well, <laughs> came apart. See if I can get it back together. There we go. Okay, so there we go. They're slightly different shade of green than the other ones. Um, they do, even though it came apart, it does look like slightly better build quality. Here's another pair I have here. These just look like regular safety glasses, except they have a green tint. Whereas these are all green all around. Interesting. Okay. So, toss that and see what else we've got. All right. So there's a whole bunch of different parts. Uh, these are all just like listing individual screws and such. But we also, underneath here, we've got the rotary attachment, which is I'm really excited about. Because uh, this will allow you to engrave cylindrical objects, uh, like uh, water, can, water bottles and stuff. You just put it on here and it rolls around. That 
should be fun to try out. I'll have to find some cylindrical objects. All right. Okay, so this is obviously a very thick manual. And I think from what I've seen, they have some really good like YouTube videos, instructions on how to put things together and how to use it. So uh, let's put everything together. So we're all assembled and it actually went together pretty easily. Um, it's extremely sturdy, uh, multiple screws holding it in, in place on every corner. So that really helps. <laughs> so it is big. It's a good couple of inches larger than the Orters that I've reviewed. And it like barely fits on my uh, slate that I've got down here. Like each leg is right in the corner of the slate. Um, but yeah, um, the only kind of confusion that there was, was um, I was going based on the official video for assembling it. The video goes very fast, so you have to constantly pause every two seconds to, to do the next step. Um, there was a little bit of confusion uh, with the belt. Uh, there's one, I think it's this belt, that you have to uh, put on and you have to make sure that it doesn't get twisted. If it does get twisted, this won't move at all. Uh, so it's easy enough to fix that, you know, just take it off, uh, flip it around, put it back on. Uh, the wiring is a little bit confusing, but not too much. Um, yeah, so uh, we're ready to go. I've done one test just to make sure that it actually works. So some of the cool features that this has are uh, it has Wi-Fi, which I've never seen before, and that is fantastic. I've tested it out and it worked really well. So when you first set it up, you're going to hook it up to your computer with the USB cable and uh, set up the LaserBox software. And then the first thing it asks you is to set up your Wi-Fi. So uh, put in your Wi-Fi password, and then once you've done that, you can go based on your phone. There's a mobile app. Uh, you can use the computer, of course. I'm sure it offers some more options. I haven't gotten into it, but I'll have to get into that later. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can use an app on your phone, uh, which you know you can download from the Play Store, or uh, I assume it's on the uh, Apple Store. And then you can just run scans right from your phone. It's actually really cool to not be connected to anything but power. So uh, let's look at some of the specs. Uh, let's see, it is a 10 watt laser, at least this one is. I believe they also sell a 5 watt, but this is 10 watts. And the way that they do that is interesting because I guess diode lasers can't go beyond 5 watts output. So they actually have two 5 watt lasers in here that combine to make it 10 watts. Uh, another interesting feature they have, um, the, all the other lasers that I've used, they have a little you know, piece of metal or something that you put underneath to slide this up and down and get your uh, focus right. This one <coughs> has this little kickstand that pops down. It actually looks kind of like a bottle opener, but and then it snaps up with a magnet, but it drops down. And then you can lower this until that touches your material. And tighten it up. And then pop the kickstand back up and you're good to go. So you don't have to worry about losing this extra little piece. And if you, you know if you lose that piece, you can't focus. So this is great. You don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> Uh, let's look at some of the other specs here. Um, see, the machine power is 60 watts. That's how much it actually takes in from your outlet. So that's basically the same as like a desk lamp. 
the laser spot is 0 0.08 millimeters. Uh, wavelength is 450 to 460 nanometers. Routing speed, 160 millimeters per second. The working area, the space that you can actually cut and carve in, is 432 by 406 millimeters. That is 17 by 16 inches. Uh, the maximum workspace height is uh, 50 millimeters. However, uh, at least this model came with additional feet that you can put underneath and raise it up. Uh, I'm not sure if that this number is including that or not. Okay, uh, 0 0.01 millimeter movement accuracy, 0 0.02 millimeters repeat positioning accuracy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Uh, 10,000 millimeters per second, or I'm oh, sorry, 10,000 millimeters per minute movement speed, uh, 100,000 plus sliding times. I guess that means how many times you can use it before parts start to wear out. Uh, okay, uh, yep, this is industrial grade all steel wheel and shaft. Okay, so enough talking about details, let's actually see it working. All right, let's uh, engrave something. So we've got the phone set up, and let me turn on my screen capture for you. Okay, so we've got uh, everything set up here. This is the main screen that you'll see, and we have a gallery we can choose from. Uh, there's a few images in here. Some of them are pretty useful, I guess. It's pretty nice. You want solid line art or you can come up to quick engrave and you can load one of your own designs now I've got basswood here uh, so let's set print settings we'll choose basswood and then I can hit design and I'll choose a photo I've got this uh, cool dragon that I found here let's see zoom him in so we can see him on screen there he is now he's pretty cool i'm not gonna make him that big so we'll see how much this detail comes out so we got make the height see how much room i have on here uh say like 70 millimeters something like that yeah 71. So we're at 50 millimeters by 71 millimeters. And just put him towards the center there. Okay, so let's uh, turn on the laser. And we'll make sure it's connected. And uh, yep, looks like we're already connected. Uh, that was quick. Um, okay, let's uh, hit framing. Uh, now, this says it'll take 36 minutes. We'll see. So, look, framing. Okay. So, uh, first, before I do that, let's make sure that our material is square. So, I can move this and use this crosshair to line up my material. Okay, slide you forward, and I can see it needs a little adjustment. Rotate it a little bit, bring it back. Oh, rotate a little bit this way. Okay, just double checking. Okay, that looks pretty good. Very good. Just a little bit more. Okay, now we'll check it this direction. It's right on the edge, and it's perfectly square there. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the upper left corner, uh, right around there. Okay, and then we're good to start. And I'll press start. And it's uploading it to the machine. Okay, 100%. Okay, now we're ready to go. I'll press OK. I'll put my glasses on. 
and very cool. And then we're just going to press the start button on the machine. And there it goes. I can see it is engraving, so I'll see you when it's finished. Okay, we're all done. Uh, that was really fast. It did not take 35 minutes or whatever it said. It took uh, less than nine minutes, I think. Let's shut this off. There we go. Let's take a look. That did get some really fine detail, considering how small I made it. Uh, ignore all this. That's from another laser project. Uh, but I also did these uh, beer glasses clinking, and those also came out really nicely. I can imagine this dragon will look really nice on like a, a glass tumbler, on a glass tumbler. Uh, so, or uh, one of those uh, water bottles, uh, aluminum water bottles or stainless steel. Uh, so yes, so that's really cool. I'm really happy with how that came out. And so I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this. There's a lot more stuff to check out, uh, more materials. And so keep an eye out. I'm going to be testing out the rotary tool with a tumbler. And so, yeah, so that's it. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.